Hey, what's up you guys? So I have a really exciting announcement to make. If you watched a video that I put out a couple weeks ago, you know that I said something about brand deals, which is just crazy to me because I'm so new on this whole Instagram and YouTube journey. <laughs> so if you're an avid Instagram user, you might've heard of the jewelry company, Majuri. Their premise is basically that they make luxury jewelry for an affordable price while still keeping in mind ethics and sustainability. If you've watched my videos before, you know that sustainability is really important to me, hence why I mostly shop secondhand. So this video is going to be in two parts. First, I'm going to talk about Majuri, the company, what they sent me, what they're going to be sending me, give you a little review of the pieces that I received, and then I'm going to be styling three outfits with my jewelry to show you how you can take really inexpensive clothes and dress them up with a simple classic piece of jewelry. So Majuri first reached out to me a couple of months ago on my Instagram that I created for this YouTube channel which kind of shocked me because I only had a few followers on that account and Majuri obviously has over 500,000. It's like, what's going on here? I kind of ignored that message because I don't use that account. Then about a month ago, I went back to that message, reached out to them again and kind of kept pestering them because I really wanted to do this partnership. Basically, I told them about my channel and they seemed interested. They told me that I could pick out a few pieces from their website, then later I would be added to their new YouTube partnership program. So we emailed back and forth for a while. I told them I was mostly interested in some of the earrings, some of the rings, and they picked out a few things for me and sent them my way. They also were interested in having me promote new collections that are coming out. My piece from their October collection is coming in the mail right now. I considered waiting until then to make this video, but I'm really excited about the jewelry that I already have. So I figured why not make this video and then I could always go back and talk about my jewelry again in another video. So the pieces that they sent me about two weeks ago that I've been wearing nonstop. First, the dome ring. This is it. And then this is the stacker ring. And then the last thing I received was the earring that I'm wearing right now. So first impressions. When I received these pieces, they were packaged adorably in these little velvet individual bags. I really felt like I was receiving high-end jewelry at a much higher price point. So that's one thing I really appreciate about the brand. It has a very luxurious feel, even though the prices on all of the items are not ridiculously high. So I have pretty small fingers and my main concern was that the rings were not going to fit me. I said that in my email and they assured me that these would fit. And I would agree, these rings are pretty small. I'm wearing them on my left hand because most of the fingers on my right hand are just slightly larger and they fit better on this hand. The earrings are a perfect size if you want a very small hoop. In terms of quality of the actual pieces, I was honestly surprised that these were not solid gold. They feel kind of heavy, particularly the dome ring and the earrings. I've had other gold plated things before that had sort of a lighter weight to them that just felt cheap, but these feel heavy. They feel like like real solid gold. So there's actually more gold in this ring and in these earrings than something that's simply gold plated, which is why they're a little bit more expensive. The one piece that is solid gold, the stacker ring is super, super light. So I do worry that this might fall down the drain or something, but it's fairly tight on my fingers. So I don't think I should be too concerned about that. The other thing I wanted to mention is that I have extremely, extremely sensitive skin. Rings always irritate my fingers and earrings always irritate my ear holes. But even though these are not 100% solid gold, I've had no irritation with any of these pieces and I've been wearing them kind of nonstop. I never was much of a jewelry person, except for maybe earrings, because I feel like sometimes jewelry can distract from an outfit or just be uncomfortable. But I feel like these three pieces just fit so seamlessly into my style and so far have not really distracted me in any way. The one thing I will say about these pieces is that pieces like the dome ring will accumulate tiny little scratches the more that you wear them. I've had this phone for about two weeks and even though you can't see on camera, I can tell that they're tiny, tiny little scratches. But at the same time, I feel like that makes the gold look kind of antique and from any reasonable distance, you can't see those. If that's gonna be an issue for you, you might wanna be careful with your jewelry pieces and not wear them 24 seven. So in conclusion, is my jewelry worth it? I think so. Now, obviously I didn't spend my own money on these pieces, but I'm not the type of person who spends money on jewelry anyway. But now that I have 
have, I feel like I would go back and buy their pieces. For whatever reason, I didn't believe this in the past, but now that I have these pieces, I feel like jewelry is just such an incredible way to elevate an outfit. These are all styles that are incredibly classic. I can see having them forever. So I do think that I would spend my own money on these pieces. Another thing to keep in mind about sustainability is that it's not just about buying things that were made out of organic materials and shopping brands that produce their products ethically. It's also about buying pieces that will last you a really long time so that those materials don't end up in a landfill and so that you don't accumulate new items as frequently because you keep going back to the same old ones. And honestly, I think there's nothing more classic than gold jewelry, especially something simple like a ring, like a pair of hoop earrings. So if sustainability is something that's important to you, I definitely would recommend Majuri's jewelry. All right, now that the review has concluded, I wanted to show you guys how I styled my pieces with sustainable and thrifted clothing. As the saying goes, you can't buy style, and I think that's absolutely true. Some of the pieces that I'm wearing in this portion of the video cost me less than a dollar, and I think they look really impeccable. But you guys let me know what you think. So for this first outfit, I really wanted to play up the warm tones in the gold jewelry. So first, I'm wearing this incredible Max Mara French jacket coat as a shirt. This has been a major trend for fall. We've been seeing a lot of belted blazers with no shirt on underneath or, you know, a very low cut shirt underneath that you can't really see. And there's no reason you can't do that with a full length jacket. This Max Mara coat would have originally retailed for probably over $500, but I got it for $10 at the council thrift shop in LA. I paired it with these checkered trousers that I got at the Goodwill outlet in Long Island City. Since I bought these in bulk at $2 per pound, they were around a dollar, maybe less. Then another thrifted designer piece are my Ferragamo pumps that you guys are seeing in every video now because I'm so obsessed with them. And I threw on my gold ring bucket bag that I got from the internship I was working this summer. So in total, I spent around $30 on this outfit and yet I look and feel like a million bucks. The next outfit that I have is this incredible black dress from a sustainable brand here in New York City called Arkins. I wrote an article about sustainable brands and featured Arkins and then they reached out to me and said that they wanted to gift me one of their pieces as a thank you. But either way, I am beyond excited about this dress. It's so well made, it fits me so nicely, and it looks good with really everything. Just like the jewelry, I feel like this dress is a very timeless piece and thus is sustainable in terms of how it was made and the fact that I will keep it for a long time. I'm wearing it with these patent faux leather boots. These are currently up on my Depop if you wanna buy them, but like I've said before, I really like these. I might keep them. So this outfit I feel like is illustrating a couple of different points. One of them is dressing monochromatically. If you wear all one color or wear very coordinating colors, I feel like it really elevates your look. I think black in general is a very expensive looking color. The next point is timeless silhouettes. This isn't a particularly trendy silhouette and I don't mean that in any sort of negative way. I think it's a very classic shape that's unique and will sort of stand the test of time. I think the slit on the side is really flattering and the gathering at the waist, again, fits my shape very well. If you go on the Arkins website, you'll see the dress has more of a band right under the bust, but I wanted to turn the dress into more of a scrunched shape because I feel like that made it fit my waist better. If you're like me and you have really big hips compared to the size of your waist, sometimes when you try on like a stretchy dress, it'll look super unflattering because it's a little more baggy in the waist and is really, really tight on your hips and butt. But this is a trick that I've been doing forever to make those type of dresses look flattering on me. So what you wanna do is take a hair tie, scrunch the fabric at the waist like this, and then wrap the hair tie around. Basically what that does is make the waist of the garment a lot tighter, but also creates all of these diagonal lines that cinches your waist in like an X. So on top of literally making your outfit fit better, it also creates an optical illusion that brings you in at the waist. I hope Arkins will forgive me for doing this slight alteration to their beautiful piece. If you have clothes that fit well, that look like they were made for you, you're gonna look amazing no matter what you're wearing. This last outfit that I have for you features this amazing watercolor print blazer from Beacon's Closet, these tailored trousers that I also got at the Goodwill outlet, the same Ferragamo pumps, and my theory belt that I thrifted at Housing Works. So I think it's a total misconception that you can't wear fun prints or fun colors if you want to look chic and polished. I think the two key things are fine colors that flatter your hair color, your eye color, your skin color, and find ways to wear them with either 
either coordinating colors or just colors that look really nice together. Either way, it's a really fun way to look expensive without spending a lot of money and without compromising your love for bold patterns and bold colors. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video. Please let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite and if there's anything else that you want to see from me. If you want to shop any Majuri jewelry, I'm going to be putting my link in the description and linking all of the individual pieces that I have. Again, like I said, some new collections are coming out and I'll be posting about those in the future. So make sure you follow my Instagram. It's just Haley Walker underscore. I'll be leaving my exclusive link in the caption there so you can shop the jewelry on my Instagram as well. And lastly, check out my Depop if you want to shop any of my pieces that I'm not wearing anymore or any of the pieces that I exclusively bought for you guys. The boots in the second outfit are already up on my Depop and totally available for you to buy even though I love them. I'm always open to negotiations, so just send me a message. I'm very negotiable. I'm very nice. Don't be afraid. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Majuri for sending me these pieces. I absolutely love them. All right, guys, see you in the next one.